As many of you all know, every year we try to film something a little bit different as a treat for you on Christmas Day. Unfortunately, when Covid struck this year, we had no choice but to cancel all of our plans. Uh, it is with a very heavy heart, I must tell you, we cannot continue with Christmas as planned. We are left scratching our heads, thinking how it would be possible to film a funny, interesting, entertaining episode while socially distancing and with no travel abroad. But well, we managed it. Welcome to Polly Versus, the Species Special. So the outline of this challenge was that Mark Pollard, Lee Wright and Jamie Hughes would all fish against each other while all remaining in different areas of the country, each having their every move caught by their own personal cameraman. Now a conventional match decided on weight just wouldn't work, so we set them a simple challenge of catching the most number of species possible in six hours. You can't have a match without rules, so each of the anglers were given this strict set of rules that they had to follow. The winner of the match would be the angler who caught the most number of species in the six hour time limit. Coarse, sea and game fish would all count. They could use any tactic but at least one fish would have to be caught on a rod and one on a pole. Any venue could be used but at least one fish must be caught from a commercial and one from a natural venue. The anglers would meet at their first venue at 8am but there would be no setting up or fishing until time was called at 9am. Time would then be called at 3pm when the winner would be announced via a video call. All of the guys were on the bank nice and early. Polly was in Cambridge, Lee in Nottingham and Jamie. Well, we were all a bit confused where he ended up. Well, here we are on another Polly versus, but it's got a little bit of a twist in it. We're after species. Uh, Craig informed me that I'll be fishing against Mr Hughes, Jamie Hughes and Lee Wright. So I've been looking for today for uh, quite some time now to be honest. I'm absolutely buzzing about like the little competitiveness between us all. Um, we've got obviously Polly who's going to set up way too much gear and take too much time um, and it, it probably struggles to catch six or seven fish I think, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, obviously Jamie, everyone knows he's just a carp angler, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's not, not going to catch a road trail like that is he surely? So finally the days arrived. I've been waiting for this ages since Craig told me three, four months ago that this feature was going to happen. I was like, get me on that. I've got to play against that because don't we, I'm just a pellet angler that catches F1. So I think today it's time to put that to bed, isn't it? So these natural anglers that they're going to be spending hours, aren't they? It's, it's pointless them even having six hours the amount of time Lee and Polly are going to take messing about getting set up. So today me and Rich were on it. We are team get job done. I think Mr. Hughes, he's just a, a commercial angler. So whether he'll catch as many species as me, I don't think he will. And uh, Mr. Wright, a river man, does a little bit of everything, but he's a bit too young. I think, I think this is my, my versus, my one I'm gonna win. About time I won one. I've got to get my own back on Jamie for beating me on the first one I done with him last year. We got a few little surprises on the way because Craig did mention that he'd pay our travel. So we've got a quick trip to Manchester Airport and then there's lots and lots of fish for us to catch in the lovely Caribbean waters later on. So we shall see what goes on. But yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to this more than anything. This is more important than any other match I have ever fished. I want to win this one today. I've got some awesome little venues lined up. There's like bits of water off, other bits of water where there's different species and like I'm hoping I can get to like maximum number of species and beat them both. So ready to kick your asses. As you'll follow this film, you'll see some little tricks. I've made a lot of phone calls. Um, I've done my homework. I think I could catch 15 species, although it's possible to catch 21. Um, but we've only got six hours, um, so we'll see. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Look at the mask. <laughs> my van broke down, didn't it? On a bus? My van's broke down, we've had to get the bus. <laughs> van broke down. Look, it's proper bus. Isn't it? 
No, we're stuck on a bus. It's, we'll, we'll be there in about 20 minutes. Just on the road on the way, so I've just chucked all my gear. This bus driver said, come on, I'll take you wherever you want to go. So we're on the bus all day now. If you're in some theme park cheating, <laughs> that's amazing. It's all good. How are we, gentlemen? All right. Yeah. See what see what we're up against, Lee. Oh no! Tell me about it. <laughs> what? This is the entertainment value. It's what we well, do. Isn't it? Well, I do feel sorry for you, Jamie. It's good. I'm stuck on the bus all day. It's just not fair. I'm going to catch nothing on the bus. Just depends where the bus is going, though, doesn't it? Ooh, the Caribbean. <laughs> What are we going to catch then, gentlemen? Anything, how many species are we predicting? I reckon 10 to 12 species be brilliant. Yeah, I reckon about that sort of range. I reckon maybe, I can, I can reckon maybe push to 13, possibly. Polly, are you set up ready there? No, we're filming. What? You look, you look like you're set up ready. No, look. Are you sure? All right, okay, I'll let you off. Oh, that looked very pretty. No tackle about, look, see? Okay. Oh, that's a lovely bench. I, th I thought he was being sneaky there. Okie doke. Right, Dad, we've got to stop here, mate. Quick, we've got to stop. <laughs> press, press the button. Press the button, Press, press, press the button. Stop, press the button. The button doesn't work. Right, Oi, mate. Right. Hope the bus breaks down. No, good luck. Tight lines. Yeah, All right, best of luck. See you in a bit. Bye, 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 bye. Best of luck, lads. Well, it's good to catch up with the lads there, but I'm intrigued. Mr. Hughes, Mr. Jamie Hughes, on a bus with a face mask on. Yeah, I just wonder where he's going. Is he, um, yeah, I'll just, we'll find out later anyway. So as for venues, I've had to think about it a little bit. And because of the sheer variety of venues that we're going to use, I've had to get a bigger company vehicle today because I've got a lot, a lot of tackles. So we've hired a bit of, a bit of a bus for the day just to, to get about to make sure we're as efficient as possible. And it means I can have 16 metres without even taking it down. I've got it all ready there, ready to go. So, uh, venues wise for me, where have I gone? I've gone, I'm going to Western Pools to start with, because we've got lots and lots of sneaky little ponds and rivers to play about with it here. And then I've got a couple of other venues that we may be nipping to, depending on the need for extra species. We'll see where we go and see what time takes us. But so I think I've got a little gem here on my hands with Western. We've got that many species on this site that I can, I can get chopped on. I'm going to catch about 70, 80 species, I think. But no, re realistically, what am I looking at? 15. If we catch 15, I think we're up there with a few dodgy varieties in it as well. But we'll see. Well, yeah, I'm really up for it. But right now, get the kit on, Rich, and let's go. So today, tactics-wise, um, I've gone for like a dead, simple, short, sharp approach where I can get to the bank nice and easy. I ain't got loads of gear, gear to take. Um, Literally got a bucket, um, a rod with a stick float rod made up on it. Um, got a little whip there, a pole for later, and my net, and that's literally it. I've got a bit of bait, and hopefully that is going to um, give me more time to actually like catch the different species because I don't want to be setting loads of gear up. Um, so I'm going for a fast, fast approach here. Uh, I'm going to start on a trent behind me. Uh, I've got a stick float rod, and hopefully catch some roach, dace chublets, uh, perch, maybe a few, a few other fish if we're lucky, like little silver bream, um, that type of thing, a minnow, uh, who knows. And then from here, I'm going to go over to a commercial fishery and where I know there's loads and loads of different species there, it's like a real mixed venue and I can just spend most of my day there and catch in all the different species and hopefully that's going to get me over the line. So fingers crossed. Right, I'm starting off here on the ewes, as you can see, I'm at God Manchester. Um, the bit up there is called the wreck, and this is just the backwater. Um, fished it years ago as a kid. I fished a couple of matches in winter leagues, this section's been in. But my tactic is quick and away. I've got my whip. I'm going to be fishing a whip, three and a half metre whip, and I'm hoping to catch. There's two main species I want to catch from here, which is a bleak, a dace, and maybe a little chublet. Uh, so, three species and I could be away. I mean, I may catch a roach, I may catch a perch. If I could catch a minnow, brilliant, because it's all about species. But I think you'll like one of the venues I'm going to, which I won't mention until we get there, um, just to clock up another species. But uh, this is where I'm going to start. I'll be throwing in pinkies, just with a whip, half gram rig, 
just catch what I can, just travel light, catch a few species and away, because we've only got six hours. Can I start getting ready? It's time to play, Richard. Right, what have I got? Are we nearly, are we on? I'll wait till nine o'clock. So, venue number one for me today is the River Trent at Trent Lock. Um, I've fished here like literally ever since I was a kid. It's absolutely solid with fish, loads of roach, um, perch, skimmers, dace, bleak, chub, everything. Um, there's a bit of all sorts. Well, we're just a couple of minutes into polyverses and Lee has already broken the rules. The rules clearly state that the anglers couldn't tackle up before 9am and Lee is on the bank ready to fish before time is called, giving him an unfair advantage over the other guys. There'll be a full review at the end of the video and his punishment revealed. I'm like Annika Rice, I've got my helicopter or my double decker bus <laughs> and now we're on it. Well, hey Polly, that's nine o'clock, game on, come on, let's go. Yeah, well, we're off boys, <laughs> we're off and we're on it. Let's leave all this here for now. And we're getting on it. We're getting on it. Come on, Richard. Let's go catch a trout. Okay, I think that's all in. Species number one is a roach. Woohoo! Oh, it is a perch, it's a nice perch. Woohoo! That is a bonus. That's a river shrimp perch. Literally, second cast of the day, that one. We've got species number three here, which is a lovely river shrimp dace. Beautiful fish. And we've got, we've got a roach, Richard. Oh, oh, this got to be a trout, hasn't it? Oh, it's a trout, it didn't come off it. We lost the trout. I think I've upset him, Richard. I think it moves in order, we're checking. Let's go. Should have had that trout. Well, I'm here at my peg. Bait in hand, just threw a pinky. Three and a half metre whip. I've got one of my MP roach carbon stem three quarter gram on. So I can push the olivet up, although you wouldn't, normal fishing situation, maybe catch a bleak. And I can go deeper, go near the bottom, maybe I might catch a little dace, maybe a chublet. Uh, but I want to try and catch three or four species here and then quick get away because I've travelled like in the van off to the next venue. Um, I may have a, a, a quick go here, catch a couple of species and then there's a little weir pool over there. I may shoot over there just see if I can catch maybe a chublet there if I don't catch one here. So I want to get on now and plumb up because I'm wasting time talking to you and the others have started so I'm going to plumb up now, get fishing and see what I can catch. First species, bleak, bleak. By turns, a good fish might be a roach or a perch. Oh, 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 another species. Oh, what have we got? We've got a rud. Little rud, look at the colours of him, beautiful. And his mouth, bottom lip over, coming out above the top lip. Perfect little rud. All right, we'll just have this run through and then we're going to move to where there's a bit of flowing water, some staunches, might get a dace in the chublet there. So I've got two species here, I've got a bleak and a rud now. Can't spend too much time. Well, I'd have caught a dace by now if there was a dace here. And it's very weddy, right? Let's get on the move.
got to catch a little chublet in here. Flipping roach. I've had one of you. Right, come on, we're moving. We're moving again. Got to catch a trout. That's something else. What's that? It's an hide. I've just caught an hide in the, in the thing. It's a beautiful one. He has an eye, didn't he, him? It's an eye, though, defo. Is that different? No, another roach. Right, let's move. Too many roach. Yeah, another roach. They're all very battered, aren't they? Very battered roach, they are. Need to catch a trout. They've got to catch a trout while we're in here. Oh, that's, that's a trout! It's a trout! We've got him, Rich. Look, we got him. We got a trout. What's that, Rich? Is that a brown one? Was that salmon? <laughs> so, being a batch angler, <laughs> um, I've come a little bit more prepared than I was admitting. I've actually got a little whiff here as well because um, I've just seen some really tiny fish topping down down this side here, like this side of the flow, and I reckon. Well, they could be anything, really, to be honest. It could be like little bleak, little chublets. They could be minnows, you know, and it's another couple of species I can get ticked off if I can catch them. So, I've just got the right near the top. Probably small bleak, I would have thought, or small dace. So, I've just got a little whip and got a couple of pinkies with me. So, I'm just going to stick a pinky on. I've got like a little shallow rig here. Hopefully, I can catch one. The only trouble is, a pinky might be a bit too big for them because they are really small. <laughs> I reckon they're too small, so I'm going to put half a pinky on. Right, I've just plumbed up there. I'm in a, a little offshoot from the main ooze, and I'm hoping to catch a dace or a little chublet here. Uh, but it's very weedy, very weedy, so I can't fish near the bottom again. Just thought I'd catch a dace or a little chaplet. Might get a minnow here. Ah, oh, bleak, another bleak. Oh, I want a dace, come on, come on, dace, come on. Oh, that's not, that's a roach. We've got a roach. That's three species. We just see, I just want a chublet or a dace and we're away whatever. So after failing miserably after the tiny fish, should have brought me 26 hooks with me I think. Uh, they are really really small and they don't seem to be taking a liking to half a pinky on a 20. So I'm uh, back out on the stick float and seeing what comes along on this. I'm hoping I'm hoping, hoping to catch a chublet and a bleak at least. So it just took another fish back out on the stick float. Feels like another perch, to be honest. It's jagging about a bit too much to be anything else. Coming in, there he is. Cracky perch, but unfortunately, we've already caught one of these. So. It's a bit of a time waster, even though it's a lovely fish. Cracking fish again. Popping back. So um, I think I've caught what I can catch here, species wise. Um, I was hoping for one or two more, but I can't get, for some reason, they're not, not having it. So I'm gonna quickly move up there and I'm hoping there might be a few different things there, like a bleak or maybe Maybe a little chublet or something that I can go and catch and get ticked off. So I'm going to head there now. Dice. That's what we was after. Look at that little beauty. That is a dice. Four species and counting. Right, I've caught all the species I can from the river. Could have caught a perch, but I know I'll catch one of them at Rookery. 
So, we're going to go to the rookery now, but I just want to stop off somewhere special to see my mate. You'll see what I'm on about in a minute. Let's get going. So, we've moved. I've moved over to Jack's Pool, which this is going to be my main lake for the day like, that I hope to catch the most out of. This has got me barbell in, me chilled, me F1s, me calf, all that sort of thing. So, I'm hoping I've sat next to this aerator because it's a little known hot spot for some of our whiskery friends. And yeah, definitely, I've just gone straight in down the edge with maggots here, and in a minute I'm going to fish hard pellets here, catch a couple of carp with a bit of luck. So, wish me luck, straight in on the barbels. That's we had a bite first chuck then. We might have one, Rich, we might have one. Don't know, big, whatever it is, large. It's not a beauty, which is actually a good thing. What is he? He might be a beauty. I want to pull too hard. I do want to land him. Oh, yeah, he's a beauty, isn't he? Has to be a beauty barbel. Yeah, we've got a barbel, Rich. Barbel acquired. That didn't take long. I've caught a barbel. Now I need to catch carps. There's a few about, there's an odd little movement around there, and we've got a chance of some F1 shallow as well on these lily beds. Bouncing about a bit. Let's go that way. That's better. Hopefully, not a barbel. He's a common corpse, Rich. <laughs> 45 minutes in and we are up to one, two, three, four, five. Just come to another little spot. This is where the canal um, meets the Trent. And I'm hoping there's going to be a few like small fish here, like little chublets or uh, little dace. Um, bleak, perhaps. Um, so I'm literally just going to throw a few pinkies in. Uh, I've not even plumbed the depth, I've just kind of guessed it. And uh, I'm going to see what I can get. And hopefully get another species ticked off. Yes, got one. Awesome. Little chub. Wicked, that's another species we've got. Amazing. Loving it. Popping back. Yeah, come on. It's a, no, it's a chubbly again. <laughs> oh. So we found the, found the chub. Got a rud, that's species number five. Wicked and proper impressed with that. It's, it's sort of baked quite well as well, so. Only a tiny little one again, but they all can't. Well, we're just outside Polly's mate's house, I think. Uh, I've been waiting in the van for about five minutes. He just texted me and said, just pop round the back um, because he's busy doing some else. But he's wasting time, well, he's wasting his own time. So um, I'm a bit annoyed because he's not taking it serious, I don't think. Um, I've been rushing about trying to get from venue to venue. And now we're stuck at his mate's house. So um, I'll find out where he is and uh, hopefully we can get his back on track very soon. Polly, what are you doing? Shh. Well, it's species, isn't it? You're Stan, not fishing. Stan J. In Tackle pond. kindly gave me permission, my sponsor. I can catch a goldfish. It's another one. Okay? Here we go. Look at that. Oh, we're in. Oh, what have I got? A brown goldfish. <laughs> this is wrong. This Look, is. Look, a brown goldfish. Species number five. Let's pull it back. Oh. Now, how about a, a gold goldfish? Is that another species? I suppose technically it is. Well, <laughs> let's have a go. Oh, another species. <laughs> That is 
a gold fish. Oh yeah, a little fantail goldfish. Look at that. Species number six. Well, thanks to Stan here at Stan J Sports in his lovely pond, I've had two more species, so now I'm on six species. And now we're going off to Rookery Waters to try and add some more to it. So let's get going. Right, so next up, really quick, I think we'll catch a mirror by accident later on. Or maybe on Weirpool we'll catch a mirror. So I'm going to leave that and I'm just going to quickly try and catch a hybrid or maybe a rud or maybe a skimmer. I think there's a, a very good chance of catching either of those on here. So that's the, the next plan. Just try and catch some little fish shallow. See, it's not just the big boys that count today. We've got to catch all the all the little vermini species as well. I think are very, very important today. I honestly thought I'd just go in and get a bite every chuck there instantly. Very strange. Might have to come off this, not feeling it. Maybe it's because we're near that air rate and they don't like it. Right, I think we need to go on weir and catch tension skimmers and crucians. Maybe a mirror. Oh, flipping it. Hmm. Yeah, it's worth playing, isn't it? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's a mirror. <laughs> it's had me rig. <laughs> that wasn't expected. Yes, that was very much unexpected, that. Let me float back. It's not very well though. Right, I've got to change a plan. Quick, I'm just going to put a deck rig over it really quick. We've got a good gin. We've got a good gin, Rich. We've got a good gin. <laughs> they were winning. Just, it's going to win, isn't it? This is the list. We're not meant to show people this. This is. Jamie doing homework. So we've got common carp, check. F1 carp, check. I'm going to cross them off on half so I know. Barbel, check. Eyed, check. Roach, check. Gudgeon, check. So we need all of these. Not feeling these bad boys. Oh, trout, trout, trout. I didn't take trout off. What did I do with my pen? Trout, jerk, brown. Right, we're on venue number three. This is another little like stream bit that goes into the Trent here. Um, I used to fish this as a kid as well. It's like literally everything in here. Um, but it's changed quite a lot since I, uh, I last came. Um, which was many, many years ago. But I reckon if we're lucky, we can add another species on here. Possibly catch a little bleak or a minnow. To be honest, I don't really mind, whatever. A perch. Oh, it would be, wouldn't it? Definitely catch a gudgeon at the place we're going to. 100%. I don't know what that is. Another rod. <laughs> I've already got one. So I've caught, I've, been, I've caught a few different species from this little bit here. Um, I need to try and catch like a bleak or like a little rough or a minnow or something. And I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be some further down there near that wall.
It's a little hybrid thing. What is that? Miscellaneous species. Miscellaneous <laughs> species. Should we count that one? Yeah. I've, I think we've got to. Right, so after exhausting all avenues on the river and canal and surrounding areas, I think I need to bring out the little secret weapon. So I'm going to head to uh, a little spot. I'm still not going to tell you. If I catch a fish from there, though, it'll be on camera. You'll see. Um, but I'm going to head there real quick just before we go to the commercial. So hopefully I can get another species on the board. Right, we're here at Rookery Waters and we're on... Well, we're between, we're on Raven Lake, but in the middle of Raven, because Raven's like horseshoe, is Jackdaw, which is normally um, just for like pleasure anglers or, or for the kids to come and fish. There's a little bit of everything in there, but nothing too big. But um, I was thinking that if I sit between them, I can have a little go, because I'm just going to set a top kit up. I'm, I want to catch an F1, a common carp, a mirror carp, maybe a ghost carp uh, and a perch. So I've caught a rud, there's rud in here. I've caught a roach. So just to add to the species and then we'll move on again to another venue. So let's get a, a rig on because time is of the essence. So what are we, we're an hour and a half in and we're up to seven already. We are smashing it. But we moved on to weir now because I don't know what else there was to catch in another one. So I've come over here and I'm planning, what am I planning on catching a weir, Rich? I'm going to catch a, a mirror carp Hopefully a skimmer, a tension, a crucian as well. That's target for this peg. But what happens, all the fish live under the pallets. So before I put my box on the pallet and try and catch the little fish to tension the crucians or maybe a perch as well, I'm gonna, I've got my gear ready. I've just plumbed up just past the end of the pallet. I've got my landing net ready, good to go. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start straight away. Short on here, I've done loads of features on here. And it's always really good just starting short to begin with. So we're going to rattle a few pellets in, just a few six mils, and we are we're hoping for a, a mirror carps with a bit of luck on this one. If not, when I do sit on the peg, I may, very low that flow, I may feed a bomb line even on here, because I know it's a quick, quick way of catching a mirror out there maybe. So if I don't catch one on this short line quite quick within five minutes, I'll get my box on the peg really quick. And I'm going to fish worms and casters down the edge on this one. I'm trying to catch a crucian and a skim out. I might fish soft pellets as well down one side. But I'm going to fish little squidgy baits for me little squidgy fish. Normally very, very quick on this. It's like your, your top kit line. Oh, there's one, something there then. Your top kit line at Western. It's like it's where you always start. I mean, when it wants the feeding in the summer, that is where you start. And there's not a single peg where you don't have a, a decent start and you always catch 10 or 15 pound. Can I claim a ghost F1? You're going to give me... He is as well, dude. He's one of them ghosty ones. He genuinely is. Like, it's a genuine one of them ghost F1 things. I had that on my list to catch. He is a ghosty F1, dude. Yeah, we're having lots of different types of carps, so can't we have a different types of F1s? Right, I'm on peg 22 on Raven, which I know has got a nice little little margin where I can just fish for a top kit. And I'm only going to fish in the margin. I'm going to fish on maggot. I've just got a little look on one of my 0.4 MP6s. Um, just with maggot, chucking maggots, and just hopefully, I want to catch a perch if I can. I've got a 16 hook, 016 hook length. If I've got a real big thing, I've got no sections to follow it because everything's just got to be quick. So, and you'd never start in the margin, but it's just, it's just I thought the best way to get a quick few species in, in a small amount of time. Got lots of line between your pole tip and float, which you wouldn't normally have, but it's just a bit different fishing this match. Well, I want a bite. I could probably chuck some casters out of my hand here and get a couple of sections out and maybe put a shallow kit on to catch an F1 and some carp, but I'll just see what happens in the margin here and I'll have a go in 
jackdaw. Um, who knows? Who knows? Oh, oh, there's a bite and missed it. What are you doing, Polly? What are you doing? Could have been another species. What are you doing? There we are. In the species maggot. seven. He dropped him in maggots. A perch. Peter the perch. Look at him. Beauty. Tiny one. Number seven Craig, is that? Yeah, but the old count. Let's put him back. Now, I don't want a perch. I want... I want a carp. Any carp. Any carp. I've got a point of cast. I'm wondering if it's worth chucking some cast to shallow because you can catch them quite quick, shall mm. First you work this species only. This one then. Oh, oh, here we go. This is definitely another species. Definitely. Or was. Come on, Mark. What are you doing? We've got a little mirror carp out of this tiny little pond. <laughs> Can't believe it. Bit of accurate feeding. There we go, a little goldfish. It's not the uh, most pretty fish in the world, but it's uh, an ornamental nonetheless. So they all count today. Two more ticked off right there. Uh, we caught the carp and the goldfish, and uh, we're gonna head up now the motorway to a mixed commercial fishery where I can potentially catch another 10 different species out this lake. So we'll see what we can get to by the end of the day. But that's a great little bonus, that is. And the other two, I don't think, will have thought of that. This fish down here, the float's moving side to side. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Now, come on, Mark. Don't lose this. It's another SNF one, species number seven. Skin bob, skin bob, skin bob. <laughs> Dude, we're winning. We're just, we're just gonna win. Them river boys will be mixing up 10 kilo to catch one of these bad boys, won't they? Just a fish catching machine, Rich. Oh, another one. Oh, oh, we got another species. Look at this. Look at that perfectly formed mirror carp look at that does that even count as a mirror carp that's tiny of course it does <laughs> look look at its scales it's perfectly formed look at him he'd be 20 pound one day maybe 30. that's the smallest carp it's species not size that was species number lost count haven't you oh. Eight. Nine. Four on the river. Nine. Two at four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Nine. Species, species. number nine. Good job, I'm keeping count. <laughs> <laughs> I never could count. I think if I can catch a common carp, I think we can go away from here. Try somewhere else. Yeah. 
I know I'm thinking March is my last venue on the Old Neen to catch a skimmer and a silver bream, two species there, maybe a dandy ruff, three species. I mean, there are odd eels there, but they're rare, a pike, a zander, but you're really clutching there. Um, but this field end fishery, which is near March, and I know they've got a lake that's got chub, eyed and barbling. I wonder if it's worth a go there, we've got time. Oh, oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil, I've only got a common carp. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> they're the two smallest carp I've ever seen. Little barbels, definitely a common carp. Right, let's, let's just get a close up just for it. In the, Can you yeah, see his little barbels the there? Review. Definitely a common carp. Just there, see his little barbel? He'll have one that side as well. Can you see it just there? Definitely common carp. I'm going to yeah. kiss it. I'm going to kiss it. it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it back. Well, no need to feed casters out there. Um, we could give it a few more minutes. See if I catch a, a cruising. There's a few in here. Or a ghost carp. Species number 10. What are we going to catch down here then? What do we need? Crucian's and Tench is what we're fishing for, isn't it? Crucian's, Tench, Perch. Nothing else may eat the wiggly worm. Unless you're a Crucian, a Tench or a Perch. That feels different. That feels different. What's that? It's a green one, Richard! <laughs> Mirror? No. Don't know what this is. Weird. Can be another massive tench, innit? It's a flipping mirror, dude. <laughs> Aquarium. Right, don't need to catch a mirror anymore. There he is. My colour mirror. Need a crew, we don't have to go on the canal and catch a crucian, but we should get one on here. But we might not. That's got potential, hasn't it? <laughs> Proper crucian. Right, we are is completed. That was another little common carp. There's a ghost on top out there. I could dob him. With a caster, banded caster. Have I got time? Well, when he's feeding, he just took some that's off the surface. Ooh, they're not dobbed in. Oh, that, that's points to the cameraman. Oh, and he's come off. Might have been round its mouth. That's a ghostie, that's a ghostie. 
Come on, don't come off. Need this one, then we can move. We can go. Oh, it's a beautiful ghosty. Come off. Yes, get in. Hey, hey, hey. There's your ghost carp. Look at that little beauty. Took some catch in that one, did? Well, yeah. Shall I get him back? Yeah. We're going to go to field end fishery where I've got a chance of an eyed, a barbel, and a chub. And then I'll the old at March if we've got enough time. So let's get this kit packed away. Let's get Polly as well. You've got to catch on rod and line. I know, that'd be March. I should do that at March. Um, saying that, yeah, because I should catch a guster on the waggler there. Well, I hope so. If I don't, I'm in double trouble bubble. Right, what are we on? We're on venue number four. It four. Venue number four, yeah. We've been on the, what have we been on? The river, Jacks. We are back on the river again to nail Mr. Chubbs. We've got a chub. We've got a chub. We have a chub, Richard. <laughs> I call him lovely the chubbly. Lovely chubbly. And now we're going to, we're going to clay pit, try and catch a perch really, really quick. And then we're going to go to a little farmy pond, catch a rud. Little farmy pond over here, we're going to go to that. And then lastly, I've got a little surprise for you to come right at the very, very end that we've just, just had a bit of help on the phone. Right, now let's see if we can get a stripey one on the list. Stripey one and a little rud, that's what it's come to. Because right now, I just think we're smashing it. That's not a flipping pitch, is it? Matthew. The big carps. Not the required audience. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Lovely little stripey perch. Yeah, boy. We got them. Right, so we've arrived at uh, Old Car Lane Fisheries in Derbyshire. Um, I'm hoping to get a few more species ticked off here there's loads of different fish in these lakes so even if i can catch a few from this lake i might move to another one like set up real quick again i've literally got minimal tackle got rig already on the top kit it's all ready to go just got to plumb the depth and start fishing basically so um you can definitely i think we'll definitely get at least three more species ticked off here um fingers crossed we might even get a few more than that so uh, will get us up to double figures by this afternoon and then anything else after that's a bonus so let's get cracking so tactics for this one just going to mix up a little bit of ground bait put some worms some casters a few dead maggots in there i'm going to feed little tiny balls of that fish maggots on the hook or a little bit of worm catch literally everything everything that swims will take that um probably going to feed some maggots down the edge here maybe put a bit of ground bait there later on try and get a few carp there if, if we're struggling and uh, yeah we'll see what we can get so speed is the key today for me so we'll um see what we can catch can't wait to get started to be honest right we've arrived we're at field end fishery and this is the car park for the pool calf now we want to catch three species here which are in here which are eyed barbel and chub so I'm going to take as little kit as possible and just try and get three species and then away to the old River Neen at March to try and catch a skimmer, a gusteran, whatever time we've got left, maybe do a bit of chop worm fishing. But um, 
yeah, I'm looking forward to this, so let's get a bit of kit sorted and away we go. Wagdle here, I think. Well, look, it's just a carp, every put in here. This ain't going very well here. Um, I think what we'll do, we'll give the others a ring, just see how many species they're on, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do. Because um, I could be here forever just catching a carp every put in and a roach every put in. Look, one a bung. Right, rud next. And a little overgrown puddle of cowie. Where are we going? Oh, I could rabbit, it, rabbit, it, Rich. Get on that, you get on country file. Come on. Rabbit! Was it a hare? He looks like a hare him, doesn't he? Oh. Oh, that, that took a while. Got a rud, Rich. Them river boys will still be fannying about, feeding balls of ground bait to catch a lucky skimmer if they're lucky. What have we had now? We had 27 species. It's like a tarpon. I think I need, I don't think I can even hear. Oh, hey, oh, I've lost you. Where have you gone? Hello, you hear me? I'm on one of these, I'm on one of these canal things. Yeah. I thought I could get a chub or an oid here, but no. 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 Well, I've I've been on the river in the canal this morning, yeah. and a little like backwater off the river. Yeah. Sorry, train going by now. Just hang on a minute. What's happening? Am I paused? Yeah, I think Jamie's having some connection problems. I, I, I think we're in a rubbish bit. Um, so yeah, I've just been on the river in the canal, mate, and I've uh, just got to this commercial now. I think I'll go to the Neen, the old Neen, see if I can catch a skimmer, because there's no skimmers in here. Right, all right, mate. Well, best of luck. Yeah, all right, mate, I'll speak to you later. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Crack on. See you, mate. Good luck. Right, he's gone. I don't know if we can get hold of James, see how many he's on. Can I see him while he's talking? Hello, Lordy, no. all right? <laughs> No, I've come to a place and I could catch 600 pound of carp in four hours. I cannot get an oid, a chub or a barbel. It is incredible. It's just a pleasure lake, but it's just, I just, I slap it in this car, eight to 10 pound going for me bait. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, every go. I think I've had about 12 carp, 53, 53 roach up to eight ounces. Oh. Catching away. Uh, I thought if I box. come here, I was on 11, come here, get three, that put me on 14, then go to the Neen and catch some skimmers and that, but yeah, no chance. No chance, well, yeah, Christ almighty. I'm flapping it now and it's just carp going for it. No, I don't want you, yeah, ridiculous. I, I, I'm on one of these canal things, Mark, and they don't like the jigger rig on here. Oh, no, 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 you've got to put a light jigger rig on if it is. Is it? It's yeah, very light not banded caster either. Well. Not banded caster. <laughs> no, I've not caught a dace for years. Oh, I caught a dace on the river this morning. Yeah. yeah. I've yeah, a dace. We had a trout. We've had a trout as well. Oh well, that's 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 why you're on. What are you on? Fourteen. <laughs> What's Lee got? Uh, eight. But he's on a commercial well, now. Oh, so we'll catch a few now. Yeah, won't yeah, he? yeah. Looks like I'll be last right. again. We'll see. We'll see. All right, I better go and net this one. Okay, you Have a good one. See you later. Yeah, all right. Bye, 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 bye. Right, I think we'll go off now because it's just a carp every put in. 
or a roach. We'll go off now to the old Neen and I'll try and catch a skimmer, a silver bream. I might catch an hybrid, would that count? Yeah. Could catch an hybrid and have a go on chop worm if enough time, maybe for a dandy rough. So I could catch another four and I'm 11. We just have to see. Onwards and upwards. Off we go. Got here. I don't know what we've got on here. Could be a little tench, I think. Could be another one. It seems like a tench to me. Yeah! Tinker! Beautiful baby Tinker. Look at that. Cracking little fish. What a beautiful little fish that is. I love tench. They're like one of my favourite fish. Gorgeous. Amazing. Right, that's us on nine. Little beauty. That's a bomby as well. It's a silver bream. Yes, that is a, that is definitely a silver bream. Pommy, silver bream, gusters. It's, that is a hundred percent a silver bream as well, isn't it? That one. Yeah. Hundred percent. Awesome. Another species. Um, the probably like one of the most famous species you ever catch when you was a kid is a gudgeon. Everyone used to catch them. Used to be everywhere. Um, there's not many of them about nowadays for some reason, but. We've caught one today, a little little guy there, look, lovely. Absolutely gorgeous fish. You should catch millions of these on the canal, but um, it was definitely one to tick off for me today. So I'm gonna get him back, because he's doing a, a good dance round in my hands, yep. And um, we'll try and catch another species. So, different plan for this one. <laughs> what we're doing, we're trying to catch a dace. A dace or a rough is the target now. And we're on, I'm on the Langollen Canal. And the most water moves that way, what's all that about? Hmm. Water's not meant to move, is it? Got some of these little pinky things that are like maggots, only smaller. And I'm gonna try and catch, catch a dace, which apparently is like a funny looking roach with, with no red bits. That looks right, doesn't it? No, nope, that's sinking. Take one of them off and my jobs are good and rich. So let's see what we catch. I'm gonna put some pinkies in. Got some ground bait ready just in case. But apparently they like these disco ones, little ravers. Let's have a look. That looks beautiful, trotting down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Is that a bite? And we've got a dace, first chuck, done. <laughs> dace completed. Right, that, that took a while. <laughs> that is a beautiful, ooh, wiry little dace. I believe that takes me to 16, Richard. It is a common. Ooh, gotta get out now. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I played a cop, to be honest. I forgot how hard they fight. <laughs> they are lively, mate, you're right. Oh, he's out again. <laughs> out again. There we go, at last. He's got it. Nice one, isn't it? Beauty. Yeah, that one, I put a little, um, a little bit of ground bait by my feet because all the bits were dropping off when I was fishing at five meters. Just put a worm in over the top. Boom. There we go. That's another one ticked off. I'm going to put him back because he's really lively. This one. Right. So, just changed tactics yet again for about the hundredth time today, and um, I've got the rest of my pole out of the bag. I've not even bought a pole roller with me or anything. And uh, Pete, the fishery manager, has come down and he told me that all the Ide live over on this lake and it looks like he's right because that is an Ide. That mega, look at that, beauty. So that puts us on 13 now, that one. 13's good, but I don't think it'll be good enough. Right, we've arrived at March now on the old Neen and I'm just going to put 
a pole rig on my Wagner rod because I failed miserably at field end fishery to catch on it. So I'm going to fish a pole float on my float rod because it's just an underarm swing, fish it like a whip really. Um, and then if I get anything decent I can let it go whereas I've got to get the pole out in sections and maybe set my box up. We've only got probably an hour and a half left to add some more species to to the pot. Oh, another species that is an actual skimmer, not a silver bream, a proper skimmer, a baby bream. Number 12, I do believe, Craig. That's the one. No, it's another. Oh, we've got Augusta, another species, silver bream. Whereas the skimmer's more of a, a just a plain white colour to it. Look, it's got a little bit of colour underneath in its fins, yeah. whereas the skimmer hasn't. And I think the fin may be slightly different on the top fin there. I'm not too sure. We'll see if we get another skimmer. Beauty. Golden rod. Now that is a rare one. That's took a piece of corn again, that one. So just catching, seem to be singling out more fish, fishing corn. Uh, nice golden rod. That puts us on, I think, 14 now. So that's a real good amount. I'm like, I'm really pleased to like get to 14. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can catch a barbel or a crucian to get us to 15. And if we're really lucky, catch two <laughs> to get us all the way up there. But I'm going to pop him back and carry on. But that's uh, a right bonus, that one. Right, change of tactic. Gonna check, get a chop worm rig out, get my pole out, and try and catch a Danny Ruff, an eel, or maybe a tench. That's the only three I can think different species that I could get. So I've had another fish here, which I think is a skimmer. It's really hard to tell, but if you look, the scales are closer together on this one, and the other ones have been catching, which are the silver bream. They're further apart. The eyes are bigger. The mouth's more straight on on this as well, and the fins are ever so slightly different. That, to me, looks like a little skimmer. It might go as a contentious issue, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count it, because I think that's a skimmer. We'll see what the others think later. Woohoo! I just struck a bit hard, Rich. I may need a little tiny hook on to catch them, mightn't I? This is the weird area we're hoping to catch. A grayling or a minnow, like we just said. I think this hook's too big for a minnow. It's a 16. And where's that little pinky? Is the pinky look? I threw me pinkies away, but we still had one on the hook. So if I pale me pinky jink, we'll have him now. Is that big enough? Woohoo! An actual minnow, Rick. It's a minnow! I've got another species! It's a proper minnow. Look at him, He's they are very pretty minnows, aren't they? Isn't it? Don't know. What am I after? A grayling, isn't it? Don't know. Who knows? No, just a skill. Oh no! That is an hybrid. Number 14. That is an hybrid. Number 14 species. On the chop worm. Well, I thought, well I've got another species, but I'm still hoping to get a Danny Ruff. Danny Ruff may be a tench or an eel. 
get it in that flow. It doesn't feel trouty. It's a grayling! Dude, I could catch anything today. I'll catch flipping Shamu if we go to swimming baths. Little grayling. Well, me grayling, yeah boy, takes me up to 18 species now. And we were, my little sneaky plan now was I was going to go to my mate's the open shows place up the road. And he's got a lovely little garden pond full of orf and koi and all of that. But to be a good sport and to to make it a proper victory, fingers crossed, instead of a naughty victory by catching these pets. I think we have to leave it there. But let's see what's happening. Polly, over to you. Just coming to the last couple of minutes now, and I'm on 14 species, which I think, I, realistically, I was hoping for a 12. Um, I think I've done the best I can, really. Um, I was hoping for 12, so I've got two more than I thought, but I could have had maybe another three. Um, we can pack up now, give the others a ring and find out the good or bad news. Why have we just stopped over in the, oh, picturesque and all that. I'm meant to be on my skateboard. Down these places, aren't I? Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, that has been the bestest feature I have ever done. So we're waiting for the phone call now and we'll see how we got on. I'll put my get on. No. Is that right? There we go. All out. Absolutely cracking day. Caught all sorts and really enjoyed it, to be honest. Really good. Really good. All right, boys, how are you? Evening, all right, mate. Right. right, um. Yes, right, Lee. Yes. How many species have you caught? I got to 15, mate. Good lad. Jamie, how many you got? Uh, I got to 18. Oh, well done. Well, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. Well, I got to 27. But uh, no, I, I got um, 14. 14. Wow. Yeah, well but close. What let me down was we went to a place called Field End that's got Chub, Ide and Barbelin and all I could get, if a roach didn't no. grab me bait, it was a car. I was just hooking and... Hello? I was just hooking and playing carp. Absolute nightmare. So what, what, what were your species, Lee? Oh, we've had all sorts, mate. A right mixed bag, to be honest. Um, we've we got some like roach, perch, dace, chorblets this morning. Oh, hello. Um, hello. Got those. Um, we had, uh, what else did we get this morning? Trying to think. Um, we was trying, I was trying to catch a bleak for ages and I could not catch a bleak. I couldn't catch one. I just couldn't see it. There were none anywhere. And I, like, I was like r running around all over the place trying to get one, but I couldn't even mug a bleak. So <laughs> um, yeah, I was a bit annoyed about that. But then, And then some commercial fish. Yeah, we turned up here later on and I've uh, caught all sorts here. The, um, rud, uh, golden rud. There's been um, gudgeon, eyed. Uh, gold fit. Oh yeah, yeah. That was another one. I went. I snuck in at my dad's on the way on the way home, and um, I caught a goldfish out of his pond. You're joking. I would do nothing like that. I wouldn't do nothing like that. I can't believe fishing someone's pond. That's well. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't even charge me. All right, Jamie. What 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 sort of species you caught? I've caught pretty much everything that um, Lee's mentioned. I didn't catch a golden rod. I've caught, I've caught all the carpy type things. I caught a ghost F1. I've caught, I've caught a chub, a barbel. I've caught a dace, but I've even caught a minnow and a grayling today as well, and a trout. Oh my God, brilliant. Well done, well done. I've enjoyed it, it's been good. We've actually just spent the last 40 minutes fishing for grayling because it was that good. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely fantastic. It's been brilliant. Yeah, I look forward to watching it myself because obviously as me and Craig have filmed airing, obviously it make good viewing. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, wicked mate. It's been a good day. It's been, it's been a right, right laugh, hasn't it? It's good. Yeah. yeah. Well done, Jamie. That's um, third time lucky for me. <laughs> 
Well done, Lee. You just snuck me, snuck ahead with one. I'm not sure about this rud and golden rud, though. See you later, mate. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Well, well done, done Jamie. Bye, Lee. Right, so we've just spoke to the chaps and we've got to smash them, haven't we? These river boys at the Met Oh, all round anglers, we catch wherever we go. Get on it, boys. We have absolutely ruined you both. What we caught, we've just we've been effing, haven't we? All round game fish, tropical fish, whatever. See if we've caught the lot today. But now, that has been the best feature I've ever done for amusing wise. It's just been brilliant. And to catch weird fish, I mean, to catch a, a minnow and a grayling, that, that's absolutely mega. Well, I spoke to the other two. Um, Jamie's had 18, so well done again to Jamie. That's twice he's beat me. Maybe the next one I might win. But, um, so I'm looking forward to actually watching it myself because although I filmed with Craig my part, there's two other parts I haven't seen. Um, but I'm looking forward to watching this one and finding out later if all the fish verified and Lee has beat me or we're equal on 14. Okay, so if you remember, Lee did break the rules, and as such, I've decided that we have no choice but to discount the first three fish that he caught before the other guys got fishing. This takes Lee back to 12 species, and unfortunately, last place. If you don't agree, then let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video, and subscribe so you never miss another episode.